Top 5 Most Delicious Filipino Foods Anyone Can Eat I've had many people say to me, what can they eat when they're in the Philippines? After all, they want to experience some of the local cuisine and not too much of the takeaway style of eating like McDonald's, Jollibee or KFC. And they may not be overly game to try such delicacies as balut, chicken intestines, chicken feet or pig's ears. I was inspired to do this video when I was reading some articles on Christian Filipino and I thought I'd share a few of those ideas with you and this video is one of those. Anyone wanting to join Christian Filipino to find your ideal Filipino partner then I'll put the link in the description below and in the pinned comment below. So here's the five most delicious Filipino foods that just about anyone can eat and will enjoy. Number one is pachero, which is a tomato-based dish. Pork, chicken or beef can be used to cook this delicious Filipino dish. Pachero is one of the meaty dishes that will satisfy your hunger. Anyone can cook this easy tomato-based dish with pork, chicken or beef. The dish is a mixture of meat and vegetables sautéed with onion and garlic. Most restaurants offer this with beef as the main ingredient. However, since beef is very expensive, that's why pachero is a bit more pricey. It costs around two to three hundred Philippine pesos for one order. But you'll certainly get a decent sized serving that will be sure to fill you up. Number two is pancit gasado. And this is one of the most popular Filipino dishes ever. Many Filipinos will love their pancit. This dish is always part of the menu on birthdays because of the common Filipino belief that the long noodle will make life longer. Pancit is convenient to cook and the ingredients are not expensive at all. This is usually a mixture of noodles, vegetables and to make it tastier they may add some shrimp, pork or deboned chicken can be added. This can be prepared and served to the whole family without worrying about how much it will cost and it will go down a treat in the Philippines. And I recommend that if you're in the Philippines and you get the opportunity, certainly don't shy away from it and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Number three is Tinalang Chicken Tinola. Chicken Tinola is an authentic Filipino dish. The soup is refreshing and it has a mixed taste of ginger and onion which actually go down very nicely. Tinalang manok or chicken is one of the dish that most Filipino families cook and serve for dinner or lunch. It's best served hot to enjoy the tasty chicken stew partnered with rice. Tinola is a ginger and onion base soup with chicken as its main ingredient and it really is a very healthy and tasty dish. So again if you get the opportunity don't be shy and you'll be surprised. Number four is grilled fish or sinigbang ista. I hope I've pronounced that right, but probably not. The grilled fish is matched with tomatoes and shrimp paste with soy sauce and calamansi, which will make for a healthy, good meal. Sinigbang ista is a traditional Filipino dish. It's very practical to serve because of health benefits and its cost. This food is usually present during picnics, outings and especially at the beach because of its availability. It's best served with spicy soy sauce and calamansi dip. If you get invited to have dinner in a Filipino home then expect at some point to see the grilled fish on show. Number five on the list is lechon baboy. No special Filipino occasion is complete without lechon on the table. Lechon or roasted pig never fails to bring a spark to the guests eyes whenever it's served on the table. It's quite a lot to consider to be added to the menu because of its cost but the crispy and juicy lechon is worth it. A typical lechon costs around three and a half to seven thousand pesos or three hundred to five hundred pesos per kilo basis. It can be typically served with lechon salsa sauce or it's a liver type of sauce made of liver and spices or a spicy mixture of soy sauce and vinegar. Lechon 
is served during special occasions and is a centerpiece of the dining table at any Filipino event. So, for those of you that are wanting to try Filipino cuisine when you're visiting the Philippines to get that real experience of Filipino cu cuisine, then these five dishes that I've mentioned are not too over the top and I'm sure you will enjoy. And just so you know, there are plenty of other really tasty Filipino dishes that you can explore that I haven't mentioned in this short video. So my tip is be a little adventurous without going too much over the top and you will have a great experience around Filipino culture and cuisine. Feel free to like and share the video, subscribe and press the bell icon for all future videos. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support. Take care and bye for now.